there, there's basically two categories of stroke, and then there's other lesser known entities such as encephalopathies or toxic brain malfunctions from other causes. The two types of stroke are ischemic or hemorrhagic. An ischemic stroke means the blood, fly, blood flow has been decreased to a certain area of a brain. This is either through narrowing or hardening of the arteries with age or with a new clot that's formed and has come from somewhere downstream, such as in the heart. A hemorrhagic stroke is when a small blood vessel or a larger blood vessel actually ruptures within the cranial cavity causing a leak of blood. The blood can be a low pressure leak called a subdural hematoma and you'll have non-focal neurologic findings, confusion, delirium, whatnot. Or you can have a high pressure vessel leak which is an epidural hematoma where a patient will have a usually a head injury with a skull fracture. They'll be lucid for a period of about six hours and then rapidly decline. These are both surgical emergencies and require neuros neurosurgical intervention. The ischemic strokes would, would um, benefit more from t clot busting drug administration and or clot retrieval through small interventional devices that are fed up through the great vessels from the heart.